Today we're taking a leap into one of the last wastelands on the planet and exploring some of the strangest things that have been happening there, from the continent's seabed to a liquid subglacial lake. Welcome to a brand new video. Join us as we delve into the 14 strangest things found in Antarctica. If you like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Now let's get started. Number 14. The Icefish Colony as we have seen time and time again in our videos, the depths of the ocean are a bit of a mystery, and there is a lot going on down there that is yet to be discovered. So when you combine the depths of the ocean with one of the coldest and most inhospitable places on the planet, it should come as no surprise that here in the frigid Antarctic seas, things are still being revealed, like in this amazing breeding colony of around 60 million fish in the Woodall Sea beneath the ice. Apparently, there are a lot of fish that are thriving and living their best lives reproducing, and all this ecosystem was unknown until about 2022, but has been revealed to be as large as the entire surface of Malta. The fish that make up this colony are ice fish with transparent skulls and clear blood. These fish have developed a clever adaptation to survive such incurable temperatures that they have an anti-freestyle protein in their body that prevents ice crystals from forming. It's a pretty clever evolution of living beings. Number 13. Lost under Antarctica In Antarctica, there are basically millions of square kilometers of ice that lies beneath the snow, and then beneath all that really cold stuff, there's a lot of dirt and rock. Just like on any other continent, it's a lot colder. So if there was a way to look beneath the layers, that's what we would see. And apparently, we have the kind of technology that allows us to do just that. A group of researchers from Keeley University in Germany and the British Antarctic Survey have been sifting through a huge amount of data coming from the European Space Agency's GOES satellite. They used gravity imaging to determine the shapes of the Earth beneath all the layers. These images have allowed those scientists to see clearly what's beneath the surface, in a way that they've never been able to do before. Now this means that they've mapped out a whole series of land masses beneath Antarctica, what have been dubbed the Lost Continents. They've seen folded tectonic plate masses at the stage before they became mountain ranges, as well as these things called cratons, which are essentially the core areas of those tectonic plate masses. And all of this is extremely useful for understanding how the continent of Antarctica formed and has allowed scientists to make accurate predictions of how it will change in the future, given the current melting of ice in the Antarctic region. Number 12. Discovery on the Edge of Antarctica Here we are looking at a photo that someone said was taken by some explorers at the edge of Antarctica, they even said that this new discovery at the edge of Antarctica scares scientists, but it does look a bit suspicious for all intents and purposes, like a sci-fi movie based on another planet with all the space equipment that would entail. But then again, what the heck do we really know about such things? And you, do you have any idea what you think is going on here? As always, let me know your thoughts below. Number 11. The lost wallet was returned after 53 years. Paul Grisham lost his wallet way back in the 1960s when he was a meteorologist for the United States Navy in Antarctica. Now, naturally, he was over losing his wallet and figured he'd never see it again. And Antarctica is a pretty remote place after all, so he was super surprised when someone got in touch with him to tell him that the wallet had been discovered while they were working at the McMurdo Research Station in Antarctica. McMurdo Station is a research station. The facility located on the southern tip of Ross Island in Antarctica, built in 1956, is not only another in a long list of mundane-looking places, but like a handful of other stations, it's actually on an island named after a British naval officer. McMurdo, over the years the station has grown into one of the largest and most active research facilities in Antarctica. Of course, the station's primary functions include the usual junk like glaciology, geology, biology, atmospheric sciences and astronomy. The station also has its own airstrip known as Williams Field, which makes for easy entry and exit, and also provides the crew with all the necessities needed at this modernized facility. 
The station features internet access, recreational facilities, and medical services to ensure the physical and mental health of its personnel. When the wallet was eventually returned to Paul Grisham in San Diego, it still contained his Navy ID, his driver's license, a pocket reference on how to behave in an atomic, biological or chemical attack, as well as a beer ration card and some tax stuff and some receipts. Number 10. Some kind of crazy pyramids found under the ice. They seem to be storing a lot of different things underneath the Antarctic ice sheet. This time, we're apparently looking at an entire mountain range that lies beneath all that ice. If this is so, then how did it happen? There are no mountains meant to stick out above the land. Well, usually they are. But it seems like things in general are happening slightly differently up there in Antarctica now, aren't they? Anyway, this is an absolutely massive mountain range. It's about 9,000 feet high and stretches up to 750 m long. Except, despite the size, you can't see the mountains because they're buried under 2,000 feet of ice in East Antarctica. Even though these mountains are thought to be as big as the Alps, they're essentially invisible, which is a bit odd. This particular mountain range is named the Gambertsev Range, after Soviet geophysicist Grigory Gambertsev, so that's all good fun for him. I'm sure that back in 2016, some photographs were taken on the frozen ice of Antarctica that seemed to show a pyramid-like structure. Now this in itself was pretty cool whatever it is, but when some people saw it, you know exactly what they said. Yeah, aliens. I mean, how else could there be a pyramid in Antarctica? Well, for a while, there was other speculation that maybe some boring old men had once lived there and built the pyramids like the ancient Egyptians and all that sort of stuff. But that was too boring an answer, and everyone really wanted it to be aliens. So when some big spoil sport came along and studied it with all the equipment used properly, they really blew the conspiracy theory apart. According to all the actual evidence, this is not something man-made or in fact made by aliens at all. In fact, it's just a mountain peak sticking out of the snow that looks a bit like a pyramid. Or if you wanted to hide the existence of aliens, that's exactly what you would say now. Number 9. New Life in the Antarctic Ice Lake Vostok is an absolutely massive lake in Antarctica that is covered by the Antarctic Ice Sheet. It is hidden beneath 13,100 feet of extremely thick ice. In fact, it has been that way for millions of years. So what exactly can you find hidden in a subglacial lake? Surely not much could exist in such a cold temperature with no sunlight at all. Well, it turns out that some things can live in such inhospitable conditions. Or at least that is what scientists believe is probably the case because of the size and weight of the Antarctic ice sheet. There has also been a tremendous amount of pressure exerted on the water below. And this adds another dimension to the possible life forms that can actually be found down there in this mysterious place. Now when scientists started testing the ice, and that is when they made quite a few discoveries. They can't actually go down to the lake to take a look and fill up a bucket with the stuff that glacial archaeologists know about. And yes, that is real. Over 3,500 different DNA sequences were discovered, including bacteria and some roots. But the creepiest thing they discovered was that there were a huge number of organisms that didn't match anything else. That exists in the well-known gene bank. So could they be ancient life forms that have been trapped in time? Dinosaur DNA, or maybe they're aliens. Yeah, that'll be it because it's always the aliens. Number 8. Blood Falls. The name is creepy and somewhat sinister. Blood Falls is a place in Antarctica that adds an interesting splash of color to the distinctively white palette of snow and ice white, a touch of blood red. It's all about this strange waterfall located at the end of the Taylor Glacier in the McMurdo Dry Valleys. And if you're passing by, you know it. But despite its appearance, this is not a drain pipe from a horrible monster slaughterhouse. It is apparently the result of a convergence of natural incidents that ended with the appearance of blood gushing from a glacier back in 1911, when the falls were first discovered by an Australian geologist named Griffith Taylor. He attributed the phenomenon to red algae, but he was wrong. The liquid actually turns out to be so rich in iron that when it reaches the surface and hits the air, it oxidizes. This is the same process that occurs with iron when it oxidizes and takes on a reddish color and spends time on the surface. 
That's when it oxidizes and leaves this beautiful red colour around the glacier, and its brackish discharge has recently become the focus of close studies that have led scientists to conclude that the red liquid is a brine that originated in this ocean, but has gone through a great deal of changes as it interacted with rocks on its way to becoming the falls at the terminus of Taylor Glacier. Sorry to disappoint all you vampires out there hoping for a bloodbath. It's just a bunch of boring old rock juice. Number 7. Mysterious Hole in Antarctica Sometimes the winter ice that covers the surface of the wetless sea in Antarctica forms a massive hole. Back in 2016 and 2017, such a huge hole appeared and it got all the scientists especially excited. It seems that these holes occasionally appear in the mass of big ice that covers most of Antarctica. Apparently, some bigger ones had appeared there several decades earlier, but with all the fancy new technologies that are available today, scientists have the opportunity to really examine and monitor the movements like never before. They used satellite imagery, robotic drifters, and even some of those seals that they equipped with sensory equipment to keep an eye on the changing ice. Here comes the reality. They concluded that these holes could appear as a result of several different phenomena. These were things like unusual conditions in the ocean and some very intense storms that had formed over the area that had shown almost hurricane force wind levels. Well, who knew that ice holes were so exciting? Number 6. The Ancient Sea Monster when a group of scientists from Argentina's National Scientific and Technical Research Council were poking around in the northernmost tip of the Antarctic continent, they were able to unearth something extraordinary. That's when they found the most surprising thing. A huge load of old bones that weren't just any old bones, although this was the skeleton of a plesiosaur. These were marine reptiles with very long necks that existed as far back as the late Triassic period, about 200 million years ago, and then were widely found during the Jurassic era, which was about 150 million years ago. Although they had found some smaller fossils over the years, this was by far the largest and oldest animal fossil that Antarctica had offered up so far. It's especially unusual because it was previously thought that the rock types in this region weren't good at preserving fossils, so it's all been pretty exciting and it's created a huge push to keep looking for more dinosaur fossils in the region. Number 5. The Largest Reptile Egg In 2020, scientists were finally able to determine that a massive egg unearthed in Antarctica nearly a decade earlier was actually some kind of ancient reptile egg. Until then, the 11-inch by 7-inch object was called Ting, because no one could say for sure what the heck it was. It might actually have been waiting to be identified. It had no name. But the mystery appears to have been solved, and researchers now say that the fossil that looks like a deflated football was actually an egg that once belonged to a huge marine reptile that had existed around 68 million years ago. The egg appeared to be very similar to those of lizards and snakes, but it was from a huge prehistoric relative of these creatures. The size indicated that it must have belonged to an animal as large as a dinosaur, but otherwise it did not resemble a dinosaur egg in any other way. It had a soft shell that resembles that of modern-day lizards and snakes, but the size of the fossil indicated that the creature it belonged to must have been at least a considerable 7M in length. For the time, the most likely candidate was a marine reptile called a mosasaur, but it may never be fully understood what exact species it might have come from. Number 4. The Ancient Rainforest While it's a little hard to imagine a jungle terrain when you're looking at a frozen wasteland, Antarctica was once a lush, green, forested region, which seems a little odd. About 90 million years ago, Antarctica wasn't covered in all that snow and ice, but was instead a temperate rainforest teeming with diverse living organisms. The latest research in the region has revealed a collection of spores and pollen from fossil roots that show what kind of forest once thrived in the region we now know as Antarctica during the Cretaceous period, which between 145 and 65 million years ago was at sea level across the planet, and that's where the Antarctic was located. 
they were 558 feet higher than today. Sea surface temperatures in the tropics reached 95 degrees F, and so it was so hot that a rainforest grew in that area that scientists extracted a sediment core from beneath the ice near Pine Island Glacier on the western part back in 2017. And analysis of that core shows that the layer about 90 million years ago was completely different, and the color of the rest was a sure sign that something was quite different at that time. In more recent epochs and closer study of the layer with specialized imaging would reveal that the layer was a dense mix of roots and soil, as well as plenty of remains of prehistoric flowering plants, pollen and spores. It was a treasure trove of different climate and proof that the area had been a rainforest long before it last froze over. Number 3. The 17-pound meteorite Here we are on an expedition to Antarctica with a group of scientists who have been very busy searching for all sorts of meteorites across the frozen continent. They were exploring the surface of the Niels Larsen Blue Ice Zone near Princess Elizabeth Station when they found one of the largest space rocks ever collected in Antarctica. The monster rock was as big as a cantaloupe and weighed over 16.7 pounds. Apparently, they also found four additional meteorites that were believed to have been there for a few thousand years. There have been 45,000 meteorites discovered in Antarctica over the years, and this big fat one is unusual. Only about 100 of the previous discoveries have ever been this heavy. Number 2. The Wreck of Shackleton's Resistance Back in 2022, a group of scientists in Antarctica made a startling discovery that had remained hidden for over a century when they stumbled upon a shipwreck. But this was no ordinary shipwreck. No, this was explorer Ernest Shackleton's lost ship that had sunk to the bottom in 1915. Anglo-Irish explorer Erna Shackleton led three British expeditions to Antarctica in the early 20th century. The ship named the Endurance had been crushed by sea ice and sunk in the ocean. Shackleton and his men had managed to escape in no time by boats and on foot, and until this recent discovery was made, no one had known the exact whereabouts of the legendary ship. Videos were captured from the site, and they appear to show that the ship is still in remarkably good condition. It has probably been preserved by the cold, and the fact that it avoided being eaten by the kind of critters that usually chew through wood, although it had been colonized by all sorts of other sea creatures, but it had avoided the devastation of other shipwrecks that had been eaten by woodworms. Now, amazingly, the ship looks very much like the photographs that were taken of it when it was still in use. The hull is largely intact, and the ship lies upright on the seabed. The rigging is tangled, and the masts are down. But otherwise, it is in eerily good shape. Number 1. Lake Vostok This is Lake Vostok, which is actually a subglacial lake that lies beneath the surface of Antarctica. Lake Vostok is one of the largest subglacial lakes, at least any known on the planet, located miles beneath the surface at Russia's Vostok Station, east of the Antarctic Ice Sheet. It is a place where all sorts of amazing organisms have been found. Despite the extreme temperatures and seemingly hostile conditions for life, some creatures actually live here in the coldest temperatures in the world. As recorded at Vostok Station on July 21, 1983, mercury dropped to an astonishingly rapid 8.6 degrees F, which is distinctly cold. 89.2 degrees is a rarity for liquid water to exist there to form a subglacial lake. But it does, and this is due to the geothermal heat down there, which is actually enough to raise the temperature to around 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still below freezing. But when combined with the pressure of the thick ice sheet, this actually lowers the melting point as it provides a level of insulation due to the much colder surface temperatures. And even though it seems impossible, it actually causes the lake to turn liquid. It's absolutely incredible. We've reached the end of this video. Tell us what you think in the comments box. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. See you next time!